In this video, I'm gonna be going through the top 10 chicken breeds that lay the largest eggs. And stay tuned till the end because I'll be going through some frequently asked questions that you may have when it comes to chickens that lay large eggs. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Believe it or not, chicken eggs are quite scientifically classified, and most people will be surprised to know that it's not so much the size that denotes peewee's classifications through jumbo. But wait, so what are the chicken breeds that lay the largest eggs? Weight is pretty much down to the ounce. Six ounces set apart, small from large and large from jumbo. Precise weight measuring is how grocery stores determine which eggs go in which cartons and charge at what prices. As documented by the Egg Safety Center, this chart shows different sizes and classifications of chicken eggs. Well, let's answer the question, what determines egg weight? So of course, certain breeds are selectively bred for egg size. All hens start egg production by laying peewee or small eggs and gradually increase to a mature egg grade size of medium, large, or bigger. In modern breeds, most hens are laying large, extra large, or jumbo by 40 weeks. However, it's important to realize that conditions make any hen lay larger and healthier eggs within those breeds. As much as you'd like, you cannot alter the basic pattern of how egg size changes as hens age. Age. but your hen's feeding and management can have a measurable impact on egg size and the timing of when eggs will reach optimal size. Now, also, it's important to talk about the chicken feed for these chickens that lay large eggs. A hen's body weight is the most significant factor for increasing egg size. So for your best overall chance for having the largest size eggs, you want your hen to be the largest healthiest bird she has the capability of being. Giving her a diet that supplies all nutrients should manipulate and produce the preferred early egg size. This is facilitated mainly by securing high protein levels. You can use the protein level in chicken feed to alter egg size at different stages of production. For example, feeding a high 18 to 20% protein layer ratio will increase egg size in the first couple of months of egg production. After the flock has reached a maximum egg production, high protein diets no longer promote large egg size increases. In fact, continued high protein levels will cause unnecessary weight gain, which carries a whole host of problems for hens. After eight to 10 months, cutting down protein to 15 to 17% will be the most healthy maintenance option. Now, if you want to see the chart on which feed has the levels of nutrients needed for your chickens to lay larger eggs, I'll link to that in the description. Now let's also talk about the light influences and how artificial and natural light actually influence egg size. Now, both artificial and natural light will influence egg size by accelerating or delaying the age at which hens start to lay eggs. Therefore, the younger a hen is when she starts egg production, the smaller her eggs will be during her first year of life. You can delay the start of egg production by providing 10 hours or less of light each day to 19 weeks of age. Decreasing the daily hours of light at any time after 10 weeks of age will also delay the start of egg production. Also, the skeleton size has some impact on egg size. Hens with bigger and longer bones tend to become bigger hens and lay bigger eggs. Naturally, breeds with genetically directed larger skeletons are those we consider as the bigger egg layers. Still, the protein level of the ration fed before 10 weeks of age also influences skeletal size in any particular breed of hen. If you want pullets with bigger skeletons, feed a starter diet until eight or 10 weeks of age instead of just six weeks. Since feed intake directly impacts the hen's intake of nutrients and size of the eggs they produce, any factor can reduce egg size. This includes limiting feed consumption, crowding, heat stress, or inadequate water supply, which will all reduce egg size. Aside from food inadequacy issues, the most significant single stress or a chicken will face in its life is the constant looming fear of predators. And speaking of, let's get into that. Being on the lookout for predators takes time away from foraging. It sends feedback for the hen to put energy into potentially fleeing for safety rather than constructing an egg. Creating an optimal space for keeping your chickens away from predators is critical. If they have a safe place to roam and sit up to 30 minutes to lay an egg, it will significantly improve her chances of consistently laying good sized eggs. These factors influence how soon the hens start to lay large instead of medium eggs and how many hens will lay extra large or jumbo eggs. All that being said, you will hedge your bets towards larger egg sizes if you choose breeds genetically designed for larger egg sizes. So now let's get into those chicken breeds. Number one is the Menorca chicken. This is the largest of the Mediterranean breeds of chicken it has beautiful glossy black plumes and a rich red face with white earlobes. It is also the friendliest and easiest to 
handle of the Mediterranean breeds. The hens usually lay 200 or more eggs annually and are known to be some of the largest white eggs of any breed. The second one on the list is the leghorn. Sticking with the jumbo white egg category, the leghorn is a good choice for egg laying size and quantity. Most of the eggs in grocery stores are produced by white leghorns. Depending on the age of the hen, they will often lay 250 to 280 at least extra large, frequently jumbo white eggs per year. The third one on this list are Lohman brown chickens. These are one of the best hybrid chickens for egg laying. A German genetics company developed them from New Hampshire chickens, selective breeding with other brown egg laying hens. These chickens are champions at what they do. Lohman Browns begin laying jumbo sized eggs after four or five months from hatching. So you can expect around 300 beautiful brown and very, very large eggs a year from your Lohman Brown hen. The next one on this list are production red chickens that are bred to be a chicken breed that lay large eggs. Now production red are Rhode Island red industrial production strain chickens. They are bred mainly to be very productive of layers but are also heavy enough to be good meat birds. While Rhode Island Reds have their own benefits of excellent temperament and laying reliability, the production Reds have added expert layers. And I will add a caveat. I've heard a lot of people actually say that Rhode Island Reds are mean. I've also heard some people say that they're awesome. This is just a general temperament. It is definitely subject to change, just depending on the chicken you get. But anyways, as far as the egg laying department, they lay large brown eggs consistently and you can expect three or more eggs per hen per year. The next one on this list is the Well Summer Chicken. It was bred as a dual purpose chicken. They lay many large dark reddish brown eggs, almost like a terracotta color, and are known for quick maturation in the meat category. Their eggs from adult hens consistently hit the large and extra large USDA weights, and so combined with their beautiful dark color, these eggs are a favorite at many local farmers markets. Well Summer hens are not very excited about cold dark winter months and will typically slow production, so keep that in mind. Number six on this list is the Delaware chicken. The Delaware breed was developed in 1940 by crossing Bard Plymouth Rocks and New Hampshire Reds to create this beautiful brown egg laying white bird. They are good egg layers starting as early as 20 weeks. Delawares lay large to jumbo brown eggs and continues through cold months. The seventh one on this list is the Buff Orpington chicken. Originated in the United Kingdom, Orpingtons are a well-loved heritage breed. This is because of their sweet, calm nature, beautiful feathers, and functional purposes. Buffs mature moderately early and are decent. You can expect around 280 eggs per year. These are layers of large, beautifully pearlescent brown colored eggs. Although these chickens are quite a cold resistant breed, they don't do as well in warmer temperatures. The next one on this list is the Barnvelder chicken. The Barnvelder is a medium heavy breed of chicken named after the Dutch town of Barnveld. It is a breed of chicken best known for its ability to lay very dark and large to extra large brown colored eggs. In addition, they are winter hardy and vigorous egg layers, which assure a constant supply of these excellent sized beautifully colored eggs. The next one on this list is the speckled Sussex breed. It's a good egg layer and will keep laying even during cold weather when many other breeds stop. Sussexes are excellent layers of large to extra large light brown eggs and lay right through the coldest weather. They are dual purpose birds in addition to their large and greatly numbered eggs. They are known mainly as meat birds in England. And let's dive into the last on this list. But before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. And the last one on this list is the Golden Comet. Golden Comets are a modern day egg laying strain of chicken. They are a hybrid cross between Rhode Island Reds and white leghorn chickens, and my particular favorite right now. Comets are fast to mature and start laying at a younger age than most other chickens. As a result, Golden Comet eggs are huge and often have a deep red brown color. On top of egg size, Comets can lay up to 330 eggs per year year. So I can actually personally vouch for this fact. I have a friend who has a flock of golden comets and exactly what I just said is they lay a ton of eggs. Their ability to lay consistently even in dark winter months is a delight. Unfortunately, double yolks are not uncommon though with this breed. Many times I've heard that people have used rubber bands to close egg cartons because their comet eggs are too large to fit when they sell to any egg customers. All right, now let's get into some frequently asked questions. How do you get chickens to lay bigger eggs? Well, to do this, I already touched on this, you up the protein content and change the layers feed to 18 to 20% layer feed. This should be done in the first eight weeks of egg laying with your hands. If you like this video, be sure to check out this one over here. That's gonna do it for us at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And with that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.